this course we'll learn about CADA. My name is He Shi. Today I'm going to introduce how to use CADAs in ACK. After this course, you'll be able to use CADA to enable event-driven scaling. This course will provide a demonstration on how to enable event-driven scaling by using ACK CADA. First, we need to install the ACK CADA component in the cluster. Log on to the ACK console. Choose Marketplace. Enter ACK CADA in the search box. Click the ACK CADA card on the page that appears. Click Deploy. In the Deploy panel, we need to select the cluster that we want to deploy. Click Next. Click OK. After that, you are redirected to the Installation Details page. We can use this link to check the installation progress of ACK CADA operator. Wait several seconds for ACK CADA operator to enter the running state in the cluster. Now we can see that the ACK CADA operator is in the running state. This means that ACK CADA operator is running as expected in the cluster. Next, let us prepare a MongoDB environment. On the right side are all the commands that we need to use in this demonstration. I prepared these commands in advance to save us some time. First, let us look at the YAML file of MongoDB. We need to create a deployment and a service. If your cluster contains a deployment and a service, skip this step. After the deployment and the service are created, we can obtain the name of the pod in which the MongoDB is running. We'll use this pod name later. Write the name on the right side, then we need to log on to the database. Register an account. Create a RAM user. named test underscore user. We can copy the commands, then replace the MongoDB with the MongoDB that is in the running state. OK. The user is created. Next, we'll grant permissions to the user. After that, create a test collection. After the test collection is created, we need to create a trigger authentication. Look at the YAML file used for user authentication. The trigger authentication is required to authenticate event source logon in ACK CADA. For event sources like MongoDB, secret target ref in a trigger authentication specifies the connection mode in the secret and reads data to ACK CADA to complete logon verification for MongoDB. OK, we used the YAML file to create a trigger authentication. After the trigger authentication is created, we also need to create a scalar job. Scalar job is used to define the job template and specify the database to be queried and the query expression. In this example, the job queries the test underscore collection in the test database to obtain the data entries that we will transcode and that meet the conditions specified in the query field. Create a scalar job. Now, the required environment is ready. Next, we'll insert five data entries to be transcoded. The five data entries are the test data. Let's check how CADA takes effect. The five data entries are inserted. We can use the watch command to check whether any jobs exist. We can see that five jobs of the five data entries are created. Now that all the configurations are completed, let's move on to the next part. In the database, we can see that the value of state 
is changed to finished. We can also see that the five transcoding tasks are processed by the five jobs in CADA. That is the end of our demonstration. Thank you for watching.